traffic moving. I'm sorry, we seem to have lost that film. I was watching it on another monitor up there. But we obviously don't have it here. We'll find out what will um, happen in a moment. I think, I think what we'd better do is to go into the next film, and we'll try and get that film from Rhodesia back. The, um, our next film is about the International Monetary Fund mission, which is coming to Britain. The team of inspectors who are going to scrutinise our accounts before they agree to this gigantic new loan we're trying to raise. We already owe our foreign creditors about $19 billion, so our credit could hardly be called good in any circumstance, and the IMF men start work at a time, of course, when the British Treasury has again shown that its figures can be wrong. With Mr Healy's disclosure, we may have to borrow even more for public spending next year than have been calculated. I'm now interrupted by a telephone, which may mean we've got the film back again. Hello? <laughs> Does that mean you don't have film either of the IMF or of Rhodesia? <laughs> what am I supposed to tell the panorama audience that's watching? We're just trying to sort things out and we'll be back with them as soon as possible. I'm sorry, this is one of the most... Um, we do occasionally have problems. As you know, those of you who watch panorama or have watched it for many years, when we lose film, we occasionally have problems when we lose VT. I've never in my experience had a problem when we have lost all our film and all our VT, <laughs> and I'm left sitting here talking about a film that um, has no commentary on it, so there's nothing I can tell you about it. <laughs> Only a few interviews on it from Rhodesia, and a rather complicated film about the IMF in Washington, the people who are arriving in London to talk about uh, this loan. <laughs> we don't even, apparently, have a standby film <laughs> have about uh, adult literacy. So I suppose we just sit in silence and hope you stick with BBC One while we try and sort this out.